Bright Lights, Red Eyes is the brand new EP from Rule, and I'm very happy to have the man himself join us. Sir, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm uh, I'm just doing the best I can. I'm, uh, I'm writing as much music as possible, and yeah, I'm excited to have music out for the first time in a bit. I gotta say, happy belated birthday as well. You just turned 18. Thank you. Yes. That's yeah, uh, I think a milestone. I, yeah, just turned 17. Oh no, I was about to turn 17 when we last spoke. Yeah, yeah, um, it, was, it was right before yeah. Halloween and we had the whole sidebar about costumes and things. Uh, what'd, you do yeah, for your, yeah. what'd you do for your 18th? I, obviously, there was no big birthday bash, but I kept it um, pretty chill, which is always nice. Like, I just went to a, in, in Australia, there's a, like, all the bars are still open or like opening, but obviously under COVID restrictions. And I just went there with a few of my mates and I don't know, just relax a few drinks and then kind of celebrated that i could drink now and we drunk <laughs> <laughs> which is a totally different conversation than you would have with an american here because the drinking age is 21 so exactly yeah. before i go any further this backdrop here is amazing i understand this is your home studio is this something that was already there in the house or it is something you put together because of the whole situation right now yeah, so I think maybe a couple years ago we um I graffitied and kind of got all these these stencils and and put, and uh, kind of painted it up and uh, but it was still just like a garage like still or not a garage like a like a um a storeroom where we just put all our old furniture and stuff in and it was it was really packing up and it was always just such a waste of space because it's like it's separate from the house like it's um so I I can you know blast music loud and no one's really getting annoyed and uh yeah it was and then i it started quarantine i just started getting a bunch of gear and cleared a bunch of stuff out got carp put in got some guitar i got some more guitars and speakers and a desk and now it's a studio so it's wow it's still, it's still not tip top but it's 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 exactly what i need to write you know no it's impressive and and i did the same thing i think after about five months or whatever this is a spare bedroom you would think that this is like a you know, television studio or whatever, I, right? I, but, uh, wow, that is very impressive. That looks extremely tip top. That looks way better than my setup. I need yeah, we, got, we got lighting, we got the the whole works, and and you got something <laughs> cool going on there too. I've got this, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> you side. need the hair light, man. You need the hair light. <laughs> Speaking of hair, you were the model isolation dude for a, a little while there. You, you had long hair which you still have but you had a nice stash going on i think you named it pablo or something like that what that's, happened to pablo correct. so <laughs> well kind of in in that time where i wasn't needed for photo shoots or music videos and stuff like that i was just like i was just going el natural and uh kind of let my hair grow as ratty as possible and for the music video in melbourne actually like i cut um like the front a bit so it kind of went into a bit of a mullet and then um i started growing out the one bit of facial hair I could. And uh, then after, I don't know, a few, a few months of, and I shaved it before, right before November. I wanted to like grow it out in November and it just didn't really grow back. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, true. Just realized this has taken me like six months to grow. And now uh, if I shave it all off, it's going to take <laughs> a bit longer to come back. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to come back hopefully. You and I have that same problem. I mean, seriously, I think this is the, 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 the mustache is the only place where I can grow anything of significant facial hair. Everything else is as smooth as, as the day I was born. Yeah, so, well, that's still nice. At it's least shameful. it's not like patchy and gross, so you, so you have to keep shaving it. Yeah. By the way, I caught a little bit of your live stream. You looked great over there. What was that like playing outside, number one, but then actually having a little bit of an audience? It was amazing it was so much fun to really just to play the new songs i think that was what I, what I was really excited for to get my band back in and do some rehearsals and uh yeah the whole audience was just like friends and family so that's why we like dressed everyone up in those uh in those uh like 60s 70s aesthetic which because we were trying to really mimic the uh the beatles last show on the rooftop that they did in 1969 and um yeah, I think we we wanted to get an iconic spot, so we got this incredible rooftop right by right in front of the Harbour Bridge and City Opera House, and and uh, yeah, it was just so much fun. It was very, it was a big relief 
because you know putting out music and not being able to sing it live or tour it is 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 hell when you were making the songs for this EP, I understand, first of all, it was a very fast process, number one. But number two, did you have a semblance for how those songs would translate live? Not at all. I mean, when we, when we first wrote them, they were, they were so bare bones and they just didn't have anything like to them production. But we all knew that they had potential. Like I, 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 when I wrote the, the lyrics and the, and the melodies and just the chords, you can kind of feel that uh, if it's got potential or if it doesn't. I feel like all the five songs we wrote was so, uh, could be something great. I don't know quite what because they all could have gone so many different directions and they did. Like they all sound so, so different to when I first wrote them. And uh, yeah, and then singing them live, I was just so, so pleased to to finally kind of get that feeling live with these new songs because it is a definitely a new feeling. But and then again, like it would have been obviously way more amazing you know, with fans there and with a kind of a mosh pit, but that probably won't be happening for a while, but it's uh we'll, we'll make do. Well, you said you had family there. Was your mom in attendance? I feel like she would be one to instigate uh, something yeah, like that. My mom, my mom and dad were right at my feet on a carpet as well as one of my best friends. And it was just such a bad idea because I just, every time I looked down, I was just like, Oh, those are my parents. And I'm like, and then I, sometimes I swear in some of my songs as well in between. I'm just like, this feels weird. And then uh, <laughs> my sisters were there as well. And um, yeah, my whole team came up. So it was nice. Now that I was just thinking about it with your mom, you, we were talking about tattoos for some reason last time around. And you said that you would get something specific for your very first tattoo. Yes. I don't know if you recall. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. I haven't got it yet. But... Uh, my sisters for my 18th birthday gave me like a voucher to do it and uh, and a place and I've I've got it I've got it written out I know where I want to put it it's taken a year for this and uh, but yeah I haven't I haven't actually got it on me yet but uh, but you're oh. you're sticking to it you're going to keep yep. your word on that yep people will have to rewatch that other interview to find out exactly what you want to put on your body. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know this EP just dropped and the songs are great, but with the situation that we're in right now, I feel like it lends itself to being in your head, or being observational, trying new things. So what do you have planned or what's cooking in terms of new music? It's been nice being by myself in this environment and like writing by myself because I haven't done that so, so long because I've always, every time I've been writing, I've, I'd always set up a session with a producer or another writer or something. And uh, in this in this environment i've just like been writing music that i never would have written what about external to music are you getting inspired or influenced by anything in terms of the movie side the artistic okay. side books or anything like that so so many movies um yeah i what have you seen recently i watched natural born killers i love that i watched uh true romance i watched um, just a bunch of stuff that I've never gotten around to, like Eternal Sunshine. Um, Any movies in particular that have really resonated that maybe from a visual point of view have been inspirational to translate or make mm -hmm. music out of? Yeah, at the start of the, start of the year, uh, January, February, I watched Fight Club. And um, I really wanted to like, at the, for the, watching the last scene of that, that's like now my favorite movie ever. And uh, the last scene of Fight Club, I wanted to kind of write a song for that last scene because uh, when when spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Fight Club, uh, the all the buildings are falling down. It's um, I think it's Pixies. Yeah, the play, Pixies. Where's my mind? Where's my mind? Yeah. And um, yeah, I really wanted to like write a song to replace it like i love that song and i love that that bit of the that bit of the movie but i wanted to see if i could write my own version of that so that's what i kind of like i when i went with the, my producer and writer uh to the studio like i just wrote one of those songs completely based on that and all the imagery was based on fight, fight club so yeah that was a lot of fun to do wow and is that something that'll be part of the new collection album ep i'd, say so. I'd probably say so yeah I've been I've been trying to <laughs> I've been trying to make new sort of 
uh, new stuff that I haven't written before, kind of more uh, singer songwriter like even rock stuff and a bit slightly more up tempo than I've done before. So uh, that's been that's been a challenge because yeah, I'm not very good at writing stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I definitely feel like it's it's hard not to write. What about on the flip side? What about angry songs or songs that may uplift people? I, I don't know if uplifting songs are the equivalent to happy. Yeah, no, I get that. I like I like making angry songs. I've been I've been pretending to make I'm not pretending to make I have been making, but like for fun, just like screamo songs. Like where it's just like legit me yelling over some like really dirty trap beat or like some I don't know, dirty guitar or something. So that's been fun to just mess around with. But like, it's all just, again, it's all just play. Like I'm, I'm laughing half the time I'm doing it because- Hey, like, you, so. you know, there are no borders nowadays. You, know, <laughs> you you listen to people's albums, you get one rock song, you get a hip hop song, you get an electronic song. So if it really sounds good, I say you put it on the album. If it sounds good. <laughs> I mean, you're the judge of that. Well, gosh. Great to catch up with you. I'm glad you're doing well. And uh, yeah, likewise. EP, really looking forward to the new material. I want to hear the angry stuff on the, yeah. on the album. Who knows? Maybe it'll just be an album full of me screaming into the mic, yelling about why I'm so annoyed. 